minus six minutes and counting. The pilot, Dick Cooley, has begun the APU pre-start activity. APU pre-start is complete. And it is complete. The development flight instrumentation, which measures stresses on the orbiter during flight, have been turned on. Recorder stop uh, for playback after landing. T minus five minutes, 40 seconds, and counting. Minus five minutes, 30 seconds. And pilot Dick Cooley has signified the auxiliary power units are ready to be started. T minus five minutes, 15 seconds, and counting. We're coming up on the T minus five minute point. Two, one, T minus five minutes. We have a goal for APU start, and the start sequence has begun. T minus four minutes, 44 seconds, and counting. minus 4 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. We have a total of 16 minutes of hydrazine supply for running the APUs prior to a liftoff. Okay, APU start is complete. Let's get on board. APU start is complete. T minus 4 minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. Minus four minutes. We have begun nitrogen purge of the main engines on the orbiter. T minus three minutes, 50 seconds and counting. T minus three minutes, 45 seconds. The Elevon speed brake and rudder are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to assure that they'll be ready to be used in flight. Little exhaust from the APUs coming out the tail of the orbiter, indicating that all is well. T minus three minutes, 28 seconds, and counting. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuel from the ground support system through the tail service mast for one more minute. T minus three minutes, 15 seconds. The profile checks of the aero surfaces have been completed and checked. T minus three minutes, five seconds. The engine gimbal or movement check is underway to assure that they're ready for flight control. T-minus 2 minutes 55 seconds and counting. The lock valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited. T-minus 2 minutes 40 seconds. We have cleared the caution and warning memory. The gaseous oxygen vent arm is uh, being retracted. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated and the vehicle is on its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The main engines have been gimbaled to their start position and the pressure on the liquid oxygen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the two-minute point. T-minus two minutes and counting. The liquid nit hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization underway. T-minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. The gaseous oxygen vent arm is almost fully retracted. T-minus one minute, 40 seconds and counting. Minus one minute, 30 seconds, 90 seconds away from launch of STS-2. T-minus one minute, 15 seconds, and counting, the liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the one minute point in our countdown, everything going smoothly. 
T-minus one minute and counting. T-minus 50 seconds. The firing system for the ground suppression water is armed. T-minus 40 seconds. Development flight instrument recorders are on. T-minus 37 seconds. We're about just a few seconds away from switching control of launch to the computer sequences. We have control of the countdown now being conducted by the launch sequences on board the orbiter. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. The SRB nozzles have been moved to start position. Coming up on 10, T minus 10, 9, we have go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Minus 3, 2, 1, we have ignition. We have ignition of the solid rocket boosters and test. Lift off of America's space shuttle, and the space shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling the mission control. Confirm good solid rocket booster separation. Smooth and clear, Houston. 